I just spent eight hours trying to beat one level in Plants vs. Zombies. This wasn't just any level though. This was a level in Plants vs. Zombies Eclise. And it was S20, the final special level in the game, which are especially difficult levels in a game that is already known for being hard. I like challenge in my games. I got all the P-Ranks and Pizza Tower, every achievement in the Binding of Isaac. I have quadruple looped Nuclear Throne, Hollow Knight, Meat Boy, Celeste. I have experience with challenging games and difficulty spikes, but I have never hit a wall as hard as I did on this level of Eclise. Even in other Eclise levels, I don't think any other level in that game has taken me more than half the time to beat as S20 did. To give some more context to this level, this level is unlocked after beating the first 100 levels of Eclise, so anyone who unlocks it must be pretty good at the game already. In the level, there are two major threats. There are Bull Rider Imps and the Hair Metal Gargantuars. The Bull Rider Imps are very fast zombies that rush down a row, then launch an imp a couple tiles forward upon coming into contact with a plant. The best counter to these guys is planting plants in a far right column to interrupt them before they launch an imp past your defensive line. That's all well and good, until the hair metal gargantuars come into the picture. These gargantuar zombies can instantly crush adjacent plants, just like any other garg, but these ones will also sometimes smash the floor without any plant directly in front of them, sending a shockwave to destroy the rightmost plant in that row. This leads to a dilemma, leaving you constantly choosing between placing fodder plants on the left side of the lawn to protect your offensive plants, or placing fodder in front of the bull riders on the right side of the lawn, where they will surely be eaten very quickly. And the situation becomes much more complex when given the option of choosing any 7 of the 100 plus plants to attempt to clear the level with. How much of your arsenal should be dedicated to stalling, sun protection, dealing damage, and instance? The myriad options left me scratching my head for hours while testing out several strategies. I tried maximum stall with Colonel Pult, Snowpea, and Stalia. I tried focusing my entire strategy on Banana Launcher and surviving the early game with just Snowpea and Puff Shroom. And I obviously tried more general meta strategies like Peapod and Torchwood. For several hours, it felt like the challenge was impossible. But at the same time, because of the excellent balancing that the game had established up to this point, I knew that it must not only be possible to beat the level, but it also must be reasonably within my grasp. This goodwill that Eclise had fostered with me was essential in making S20 an enjoyable experience. The process of trying a strategy, optimizing it, realizing that it wasn't good enough to get me to the end, and then starting over with a new strategy was so much fun. It got me really thinking about how to deal with all the threats in the level, and even got me to re-evaluate several plants that I would normally write off as too niche or underpowered. The strategy that I ended up winning with featured Hot Date as a critical component of my deck, which was a plant that I had never willingly brought to a level before. I believe that this makes the level one of the best in the game. It challenged me with an enormous challenge that I still felt like I had been properly prepared to take on. The level did not have any obvious way that it felt like you were supposed to beat it, which led me to imagine many different strategies and put the game knowledge I had been building up for the past 100 plus levels to use. That part is so important to me, because what is the point of having a deep knowledge or skills if you never need to use them? The more time I spent in the level, the more I was able to notice cracks in the zombie's assault. And even though there were 8 hours of losses preceding my single victory, my progress through the level was slowly and consistently, inching further along with each new strategy, giving me immense satisfaction, and strengthening my resolve to finally make it to the finish line. <laughs> yes! Let's fucking go. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching this story time video essay kind of thing about <laughs> a really hard level in Plants vs. Zombies. If you like the video, please subscribe. I'm still a pretty new channel and I would appreciate it a lot. 
Until then, see you next time.